Hello, sports fans. I'm Wade Headlock with another scouting report here for GAC. Going to check out all the uh, action going on here in the conference. It's a big afternoon. As a matter of fact, it's a big season. One of the most exciting things going on is, of course, the thrill of America's game. And as we all know, America's game, especially here in Atlanta, Georgia, home of world champions, we know, home of the Olympics for that matter, we know that the sport that all of us get really excited about and really, really get fired up about is, of course, America's sport, tetherball. Right here at GAC, more tetherball is going on than you know about. And what we want to do is take a little while to explore GAC's tetherball team, featuring right behind me, all South tetherball enthusiast, Jared Thomas. We're going to take a look at the team today. We're going to take a look at Jared Thomas today. And we're going to take a good look at the world of the GAC Spartan tetherball team. Stay with us. Let's check in with our tetherball champ. Champ, how you feel right now, buddy? <laughs> Sometimes it hurts so bad. But we all gotta remember why we're doing it. You pick yourself up off the ground and you keep going. Just part of the game, right, big guy? It's just part of the game. Alright, let's have a few words from our champ here. We're talking with Jared Thomas, tetherball enthusiast. Jared, how do you feel right now, buddy? No, I feel great. I feel like we really got a chance this year in the state championship. You know, we came close last year. Uh -huh. But, you know, Coach Sheldon, he's been training us all year. He knows the sport. He knows our strengths, our weaknesses, and he knows how to take us all the way, bottom line. Jared, where did you get your enthusiasm, your, your sort of your passion for the sport of tetherball? Tell us a little bit about it. I really get asked this question all the time because, you know, I am so good. You know, my father plays tetherball. My grandfather played tetherball. I uh -huh. played tetherball. Brothers and sisters, they all played tetherball. You know, it, it, you know, you could say I was born with it. It's just like in my genes. <laughs> I imagine it makes you pretty pretty lucky with all the young ladies out there, too, doesn't it, Jerry? Well, you know, I don't usually like to talk about it in front of people, but frankly, yes, it does. You know, you just learn how to handle it. My phone rings off the hook every night. I could have a different girl across the street at my choice of Taco Bell, McDonald's, Wendy's, all your upscale fast food every night, but I just have to practice. I'm sorry, could I just please get some water here? It's 200 degrees. Thank you. Jared, it's been great talking to you. What are your plans for the rest of the season? Uh, let's say, uh, worst case scenario, what if it doesn't quite pan out like you want? What happens then? You know, worst case scenario... We don't win region, we don't go on to win state, and we go back, we do it next year, we just keep doing it, because that's what tetherball players do. Just keep doing it. Now let's go out to the field and talk to some of our other tetherball folks.
right, we're talking now with a couple of uh, the upperclassmen leaders here on the GAC team. Uh, first of all, tell us your name and what grade you're in. I'm Jason Stroud. I'm a senior. Jason Stroud, a senior, and? I'm Jimmy Syak. I'm a senior. Jimmy Syak, a senior. Jason, let's start with you. I'm going to say a word, and I want you to say the first thing that pops into your head. It, it, it should be easy since you've de uh, dedicated your life to this. That word is tetherball. Um, I have no clue. That's going to be a long season for Jason. How about you, Jimmy? Jimmy, tell us, when did you first become a tetherball enthusiast? When I was five. When he was five. So it's pretty much been a lifelong dream for you then. Basically, yeah. All right, also here, uh, four more folks here on the big GAC team. Let's go around and check on name and classification for each one. Let's start with you, buddy. Uh, Corey Burdett. And your classification? A junior. All right. <laughs> don't, don't mean to make the questions too hard. <laughs> All right, how about you, buddy? Brandon Beer and junior. Brandon Beer, junior. Also? Uh, Brian Coffrin. I'm a, it's a sophomore. Brian Coffrin. He's a sophomore. Brandon Murray, a sophomore. All right, well, let's find out just a little bit more about what's going on here, Ed. Let's start with you, Corey. Corey, what a... Thank you very much. Corey, tell us a little bit. What physical, what sort of a physical endurance does it take to play tetherball? Uh, you just... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, how about you? Do you find that chicks dig tetherball players? Oh, of course, yes. All right, as a tetherball enthusiast, really, what age did you get started with tetherball? What's tetherball? <laughs> going to be a long season for some of these guys, I tell you. And uh, do you find, is there any special equipment that you need to play tetherball? No. Good answer. Okay, we've got two more fine members of our team here. Uh, what's your name? What's your classification? Uh, Matt Price, Jr. Matt Price, Jr.? Matt Price, Jr. is your name? Gotcha. All right, and your name is? Brad Stimson. I'm a junior. Brad Stimson, a junior. Man, let's start with you. Did either one of your parents, uh, perhaps, uh, have the same passion that you have for tetherball? No. Brad, can you think of a word that rhymes with tetherball? Um, underwear? Okay. Oakley Oakley. Couple more folks here for the big GAC team. Uh, tell us your name and your classification, which of course means your grade. Stanford Phillips, sophomore. Stanford and? BG Grant, sophomore. BG Grant, sophomore. BG, could you tell us a little bit about some of the peculiar rules of your favorite sport here, tetherball? Who? Stanford, let's turn to you now. Stanford, what, a, what would you say makes tetherball America's sport? Um, I don't know. The grass. Okay. Let's keep moving. All right, let's check in with these two now. Uh, give us your name and your classification. I'm um, Matt Bengochia, and I'm the catcher. Matt Bengochia. Okay. Steve Comar, third baseman. Steve Comar. Steve, what is your favorite concession? Hot dog. Hot dog. Uh, Matt, who do you think is better looking, Joe Rhodes or Andy Ely? Uh, no, I don't want to make anyone angry. I shouldn't say. Yeah, all right. All right, that's enough. Thank you.